and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Sunday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Oh, they've won the last four matches, they two cross. Four? Yeah, I counted. They've turned themselves around since this new young lad joined. Apparently he was uh, captain of the county under-17s last season, scored a century against Darrington. Oh, blimey. Still, we've got our own secret weapon, haven't we? Have we? <laughs> I'm looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, seriously, it's good to have you back, mate, especially after what you said last week. Oh, thanks, mate. I thought an hour or so on the cricket field might do me good. I reckon we stand a good chance today we keep our heads. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Now like a game of cricket to take your mind off your troubles. Yeah. Is Fallon watching, or...? She said she might pop over later. How's she doing? Yeah, she's all right. Well, you know, it's all right as she can be. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about, um, you know, the court case. Hmm? Alice pleaded not guilty in that. Is what it is. Unless it isn't. Come again. Well, I've been thinking, what if there's more to it? Alice was drunk driving. I know, but... But nothing. She crashed into another car because she was four times over the limit. No, I know, but it's like you say. Why would she plead not guilty? Maybe there are, you know, mitigating circumstances. Like what? The police found a cider bottle in the car, didn't they? And a vodka bottle. Both empty. That's a bit weird. Why would Alice buy cider to go with a vodka? It's not like it's a mixer. She's an alcoholic. She'll drink whatever she can get her hands on. Yeah, but she got her hands on a bottle of vodka. Why would she want one random fruit cider to go with it? She wouldn't. Look, mate. All I know is she was drunk behind the wheel. If she had any conscience at all, she'd be holding her hands up to what she's done, not dragging people through it all over again. (sighs) Right. The umpire's ready for the toss. That's the drop zone all marked out. You sure you're all right going up there? Yeah, of course. Because I don't mind. No, I'm fine. It's not exactly a massive tree, is it? No, but it's an important one. Oh, what, because it belongs to Justin Elliott? No, because it's our first proper job, just us two, not through Hank. Well, does it count as a proper job when he's getting the first half an hour free and the second at mate's race? Well, don't remind me. I can't believe he actually called it in. I can. Justin's not the kind of man to forget if someone owes him something. Yeah, but a job's a job, isn't it? And I'm going to ask him after if he'll give us a good review for our website. Mm, good idea. Oh, uh, Carabina? Oh, there you go. That's a good day for it, at least. Yeah, gorgeous, isn't it? And to be honest, I was glad of the excuse to get away. Every time I see Bartleby's empty buckets, I feel all tearful. Yeah, I know. I knew it would be emotional saying goodbye to him after all these years, it but... It was brutal. Watching your dad and George mm-hmm. loading him into the horse box. Well, at least he's going to a good place. It's not the knacker's yard. Now, he'll want for nothing with Meg. Happy to admit I was wrong about her motives. I'm just worried about George. It's like he's lost his best friend. He really loves Bartleby. <laughs> yeah, he loves using him to make money, any road. No, they had a really strong bond. They always have done. I'm joking. Uh, George will be fine. Meg said he can go and see him any time he likes, remember? Yeah, that was nice of her. You ready? Oh, uh, yeah. yep. It's, it's probably a good thing that we're so busy. No time to mope about. Oh, I can't believe how quick things are taken off. Hank just keeps the jobs coming, doesn't he? If it carries on like this, we'll be launching Little Grange Tree Surgery properly in no time. Uh, did you tell Fallon about the hotel job on Tuesday? Yeah. And she was fine. I still feel bad letting her down at such short notice. Oh, she's got Chelsea, hasn't she? Right, I'm going to start cutting. Clear the drop zone. Clear. Oh, no, 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 stop. Justin, what's the matter? What on earth are you doing? 
Well played, Christopher. That was a great innings. Well, it's not over yet. And apparently they've got this superstar batsman. Oh, the young fella, yes, I believe. Still, 176, that'll take some beating. Yeah. You haven't fallen out with Harrison, have you? No, why? The way he threw his bat like that. Oh, he was just annoyed I ran him out. Yeah, what happened? Oh, I just gave him a dodgy call, that's all. It's more than that. Probably because they haven't been playing, haven't they? Give over. What's gone on, eh? I can tell something's up, so you might as well tell me what it is. We were talking before the match and I said that I've been thinking there might be some, you know, mitigating circumstances in Alice's case. I wasn't trying to say... What are you playing at? I just want to know what happened. Because some stuff about that night just doesn't make sense. Oh, Christopher. No, Mum, listen. That cider bottle they found in the car. What about it? Alice doesn't drink cider. (sighs) Not usually, maybe. But that cider had been on special offer in the shop for weeks. She could have bought it any time. Look, I know it's hard to accept what's happened. It's been a shock to all of us. I can understand you wanting to look for answers. I just... But it's important that you don't let it come between you and Harrison. Goodness knows Alice has caused enough upset already. I know, I know. I won't. Why don't you see if he wants to go for a point after the match, eh? So things over. I honestly don't know how this has happened. I, I remember exactly what you said, and Ned and I went through it when we got here, didn't we? Yeah, a metre off the top and sides of these three trees, wasn't it? No, 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 no. We simply wanted the overhanging branches pruning. These that are starting to lean on the fence, see? Eh? Didn't we discuss a general tidy? And I suggested about a metre, and you agreed that sounded about right? No, I don't recall that. Don't you? Uh, well, don't you usually confirm the agreed work in writing? Well, no. I mean, we might on a bigger job, but I thought this was very straightforward. Oh, you mean because I'm not paying full price, you thought it acceptable to cut some corners? No. Of course not. We pride ourselves on giving every job 100%, no matter how big or small. At least I've only done one branch. It could have been worse. I suppose I should be thankful for that, yes. I can't understand how this has happened. A simple misunderstanding. I know, but... As as Ed says, it's just lucky I came out when I did. Suppose that's our five-star review out the window, then? Uh, Well, if I was to venture online to leave a review, I couldn't, hand on heart, make it entirely positive, no. Although I know only too well how damning bad reviews can be for business. Between ourselves, Lillian and I have some experience in this area, unfortunately. Oh, yeah? Yes, uh, since the stables went into lockdown, some of our clients have taken to the internet to air their frustrations. Mm. I I wouldn't mind if the allegations they make were true, but, but they aren't. The Strangles case was an isolated incident. We carried out all our checks to the letter. All the documentation is in order. It's just one of those things. But sadly, these people don't let the truth stand in the way of their mudslinging. Maybe people were worried about Alice's relapse. Mm -hmm. Possibly, possibly. But Alice is no longer working at the stable, so... Oh. No, no, she's been on leave for some time. You'd hope people would realise this and remove their negative comments, but so far... Well, hopefully, as word spreads, they will. So, what do you want doing with these trees, then? Well, uh, now you've started, it makes sense to carry out a more general trim. About a metre off the top and sides, you mean? Good idea. And if it's satisfactory, I'm sure I can see my way to leaving a favourable review. Oh, thanks very much. Yeah, thanks, Justin. That's very generous of you. Not at all. We all make mistakes, and I always think everyone deserves a second chance, don't you? All right, there we go. Oh, cheers, mate. Cheers. Mm. Look, I'm sorry about earlier. It's all right. I shouldn't have thrown my toys out the pram like that. No, you didn't. I just feel so churned up at the thought of this court case. I've been wondering... What? What if there was someone in the car with her? Someone who drinks cider? Like who? 
Like Harry Chilcott. Harry? Right. The more I think about it, the more it adds up. You know my mum said that Martha had been talking about him. About Harry? Yeah. I thought at the time that was weird. She hasn't seen him for months. But maybe she has seen him. What if he was on the scene when Alice started drinking again? What if he was with Alice when she crashed? It's possible, but there was no sign of him when Alistair and George got there. He could have scarped couldn't he? Could have. But it was still Alice driving. Yeah, but I just don't think she'd drive after a bottle of vodka unless someone persuaded her. Not that it's not her responsibility, it is. Would he really do that? Just run away, leave Alice unconscious? I reckon he would, yeah. He's spineless. Spoke up at my tribunal. Only because he thought it would get him back in Alice's good books. And it did. It's his fault Alice is drinking at all. Look, Chris, mate. Do you think you might be getting carried away here? Clutching at straws? Maybe. But I just need to find out for sure. <sighs> anyway... How did Justin know it was you? I didn't have a photo on your profile, did you? No, but I'm on there as Emma G. And I suppose, thinking about it, the stuff I posted made it clear that I knew about Alice. <sighs> Other people was just posting about the strangles. Mm. So have you deleted your posts? Yeah. And will you send Kira back when they open up again? Probably not, no. And if any other parents ask me what's been going on, I'm going to tell them the truth. Why should I lie for Alice? No, well, if you ask me, she's had far too many chances. Oh. It's no good everyone making excuses for her all the time. And now she's got Christopher running round after her again. The last thing he needs is to get dragged any further into Alice's drama. Why? What's he doing? Oh, he thinks there might have been some mitigating circumstances on the night of the crash. You're kidding? <laughs> no. I don't know how Alice gets away with it. George could have died saving them people. How can Chris defend her? He wasn't defending her. She might not get away with it. She's in a lot of trouble. Christopher says he's trying to keep her out of prison for Martha's sake. <laughs> yeah, right. What? You and me both know that Chris still loves Alice. He even wants his head testing, if you ask me. Well, that's as may be. He's right, though. If Alice does go to prison, it'll be Martha who suffers. Oh, she doesn't deserve that. But what Christopher needs to realise is it's up to Alice now. Her best chance is to hold her hands up, take responsibility for what happened and plead guilty. But she's not even thinking about that. All she's worried about is where her next drink is coming from. Yep. And in the meantime, she's got everyone running round after her, picking up the pieces, filling in the gaps. No good will come of it. But you try telling your brother that. Are you what we call foley then? Uh, kind of, yep. First. Okay, and and these are these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production. Uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yep, that's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him financially, mind, but. Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think The Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community. At whatever